Hi there, I'm Brian Ash. My wife and I own the trolley bike. Awesome. So where did the idea for this trolley bike come from? We got the idea off Facebook. Uh, one of my friends saw it in Nashville and they said, oh my God, this is the coolest thing ever. And I checked it out and I was like, they're right. Springfield needs a trolley bike. Now, where are some of the cities that this is prominent in? Um, it's in 80 different cities. It's in cities like Nashville, Las Vegas, all over. I can't even remember all the places that it's at. Now, is there a franchise you can like just buy one of these or is this custom made? There are franchises available, but we're not a franchise. We had our bike custom built in Bend, Oregon, and so we're just our own independent operation. So that's a long ways away. I mean, does that they exclusively make trolley bikes then? They do. He's a owner operator. He has a trolley bike business in Bend, Oregon, and he also makes them for other people. What was so unique about the trolley bike that lured you to want to do this? It was something to wear. I just as soon as I saw it, I was like, "Oh my God, that would just be great." People are having a fun time, and I just knew it would be a big hit in Springfield. So, what's the response been so far in Springfield to this as it's going through downtown streets? Um, we get lots of strange looks. People laugh. They wave. Uh, we get a lot of woohoo's going both on the bike and off the bike. So everyone seems to like it. What's the craziest group you've had so far on here? <laughs> um, we had one group who was dressed up. It was for their birthday, and they did an '80s prom theme, and they went all out. They looked great. They decorate the bike too. They decorate. Okay, so how did they decorate the bike? They had signs for their birthday party, and we did things along the bar area, and it, it was a bump. It was a blast. Now let's let's talk about just the the side that everybody's wanting to hear about. I mean, people are drinking on here, having a good time. Is there, I mean, safety is always a concern with that. It is, and that was a big deal in getting the bike approved. We had to convince city council that it, we would be safe. We've got seat backs on here. People sign waivers. Everyone has to be 21. So it's really no different than a party bus or a limo, where as long as everyone behaves themselves and we make sure they don't have too much fun, it's a good, safe time. Getting this passed the city regulations, what was that process like? Um, it took us about eight months to get it passed through city council, um, but we were able to show them some of the ordinances that have been written in other cities and they used that to craft this ordinance. Now you said this is in 80 different cities. How, when did this, this trend start? They've actually only been around for about six or eight years or probably the most. It started in the Netherlands and just started coming over into the states probably in about 2008. From a culture aspect, what do you, do you feel it's adding to the Springfield community to have this? Well, it's not so much even just the culture that it adds, but what I'm finding is people who come in from out of town, it's a great way for them to see Springfield, and you kind of get to see all the best things downtown has to offer. We show them around, and so it's kind of great guided tour. It's a great way to see all the fun things downtown. How many people if you um, come on here are from out of town? I would say we probably get 25% of our groups are from out of town. And we, even what we have is like someone had her bachelorette party and she had friends come from all out of town for her wedding. And while they were all from out of town, she wanted to show them all of downtown. So the trolley bike was perfect for them to all go out and have their bachelorette party on the trolley bike. So from a perspective of tourism, I mean, this could, this could be a group you could draw. Which, where's the closest other trolley bike to Springfield? Um, there's one in St. Louis and one's in Kansas City, okay. so probably three hours away. The business model, pretty successful so far? I mean, Absolutely, yeah. We've made uh, money from our very first month that we started. We don't have tons of overhead. Back in the day, I owned a restaurant. That was really complicated. This is like much less moving parts. Basically, besides the bike and my insurance and my employees, there's really not much overhead. So it's gone really well so far. What's the future of this? Eventually, I'd like us to be busy where we've got tours every night, more drivers, and eventually we'll probably end up having to get multiple bikes. Most of the places where they have these, they got multiple bikes. What do you think about from the perspective of, you know, more and more companies bringing different things like this into the Springfield community? Are these successful trends in other communities and other cultures? Wave to the camera. I think it gets sort of a cumulative effect where the more awesome things there are to do downtown and the more awesome things there are to do in Springfield, the more we'll be a magnet, we'll attract businesses who want to be here because there's fun things for their employees to do, so it's just a good deal for everybody.